guys welcome back to my channel and guess what today we are going to be doing this fun and exciting eye look and we're going to be using two palettes the my little pony palette and the color pop element of surprise palette we're going to be doing a fun springtime look that's real simple i promise and easy to do and yet another tutorial on my channel because like i said i want this to become a least weekly thing if not every other week thing because I I enjoy filming them and I hope you guys enjoy watching them so if you want to see this I look just keep watching and don't forget to um, like this video if you enjoy videos like these and then don't forget to subscribe down to my channel down below and without further ado let's just hop right into the video guys alrighty guys so we're just gonna go ahead and get started here I've got my eyes all taped off and my brows on uh, so we're gonna be using two palettes today the pure my little pony palette and then the ColourPop element of surprise palette um, First, we're gonna go ahead and start off with concealing the eyes so that way it hides all your fun dark circles that we all struggle with. I know I do. And this just makes a good base for your eyeshadow to sit on. That way you don't have any creasing or it helps with like wear for the day that way it won't like you know the colors won't start fading as the day goes on if you have primed your eyes and got them all ready to go alrighty so that is done we're just gonna then go ahead and go in with a good all over the lid color to kind of set that concealer down and I'm gonna use this shade here in this ColourPop palette. I'm pretty sure it's called Go With The Flow. I hope you guys can kind of see this as I'm doing it. I will try to like lean in a little bit more. It's just this all over kind of nice nude shade to set that concealer down. And as you guys can see, I have my eyes all taped off here. That way I will have a good solid line when I get done with my shadow here. And it's always good to do your eyes first before you do your whole rest of your face. I struggle with doing that because I like to do my face first and then my eyes. But it's not a good thing because then you struggle with... Um, getting a whole bunch of fallout and then that getting all in your foundation and then that just causes problems and also then if you put tape like this over your foundation then when you go to peel the tape up it peels up all your foundation then you're going to take a beauty blender and like try to blend all that out and it just does it's not worth it <laughs> trust me so it's always best to start with your eyes first alrighty so then we're going to be going in with a crease color and I'm going to be taking um, this pink here out of the color pop palette. And we're just going to be working that all into our crease. And I'm going to try to keep this look a little bit simple today. I'm not going to do a cut crease or nothing like that. I am going to dedicate a whole upcoming video all about um, how to do a cut crease and stuff like that. Because personally, I struggle with that even today. <laughs> so it really is just a whole bunch of practice makes perfect type thing. I love these ColourPop products because the products are just so easy to work with. They blend like a dream. It's just, it's amazing. And they're so affordable. These little palettes like this are like, I 
I say maybe like $13. I'll put the amount here on the screen. That way you guys will know. Alright, so we've got that all worked into the crease and kind of I kind of took it down here to the outer V a little bit. So then next we're going to go in with this purple shade here in the Pure My Little Pony palette. It is called Magic. And I'm just going to be using this same angled brush as the Luxie 239 brush. We're going to put this color in our outer V to kind of like deepen that up a little bit and kind of give it a smoky eye look. And then we'll just kind of take a little bit of that leftover color and bring it on up into the crease. That way it kind of just makes it a nice even blend of colors and blends that pink in with that purple. I love this pure My Little Pony palette because it has this minty green in there that I've not been able to find in another palette. It's called Princess Sky Star. <laughs> what do you know? It's a My Little Pony name. But this color is just beautiful and I, I've not been able to find this color in another palette. So it's one of the reasons I love this palette so much. Plus the colors and the pigments are so good. And this pot, this pure palette is so affordable. Alrighty, then we're going to go in with this gold color here. It's called Applejack. We're going to take that and put it all over the lid. is turning out so I'm using my finger to apply this gold shade all over my lid one because you get way better pigment payoff um, than you would using a brush if you want to use a brush and you don't like putting your fingers in your products then I highly recommend wetting it with either a setting spray or just spritz it with a little bit of water that will pick up the product better and it will apply more pigmented onto your lid of your eye. Alrighty, so now that we've got that shade on, I'm just gonna take that same angled brush that we used for the whole rest of the eye, and then just kind of work that gold over, kind of into the purple just a tad, kind of bringing that purple into the gold, just so that way you don't have like a definite crease where that purple and gold begins. So we kind of did uh, kind of like a half cut crease today since we only did the gold like halfway to the lid area. But we didn't like use primer to cut the crease or anything. We just kind of did it without it. So that kind of I know, makes it a little easier for some people who don't know how to do a cut crease and all that fun stuff. I was just trying to make it this look a little bit easier today. So then we're going to go ahead and highlight the brow bone. I'm going to use this small little elf brush. It's called an eye crease brush. It's just small and real easy to get in that inner corner of your eye. Um, let's see. We're going to take this shade here in this palette. It's called Feels. And we're just going to place that in the inner corner of your eye. And then we're also just going to put that on the brow bone area. And to highlight, you basically use any like duochrome shade that you have in your palette. Or you can even just use your face highlighter that you use on your face to highlight your inner corner and your brow bone. Just another tip for the day. Alrighty. So that's going to do it for the eyes there. I'm going to go ahead and peel this off so you guys can see. Ah, I hate that part. So you can see how good the tape works there to get you a nice solid, solid line. 
that way then if you want to go ahead and apply eyeliner you can just then follow that line after you get all your foundation on or you can just leave it like that and just do like a straight line eyeliner I think this look turned out pretty good I really like it it's a nice springtime look and it, it was really easy to do it just was three colors it went on like a dream so I'm gonna go ahead and finish up my makeup and I will be right back guys alrighty guys so I've got the rest of my face on as you can tell and we're gonna go ahead and just finish up this eye look we're gonna do the lower lash line here we're just gonna it's always best to go back in and use the same colors that you used on your crease and outer V and on your lower lash line. So we're going to go back into this pink color here and just start. I'm using this Eco Tools um, angle brush that I love for your lower lash line. We're just going to go right along that lower lash line with that pink. I like to try to stick with one color when I'm doing my lower lash line. I know some people will kind of do like the same exact colors that they did on the entire eye on their lash lower lash line. And, uh, I can't really do that. That's just a bit too much for me. Sometimes I don't even do the lower lash line. I just do the top part of my eye. It's kind of just whatever I'm feeling for the day. And then we're going to go back into the purple magic color in the My Little Pony palette and kind of put that on the outer V part. And then just run a little bit right all over the eye. Alrighty, that's going to go ahead and finish the eyes. I'm going to... I'm not going to do any eyeliner today. I think I'm just going to roll with this. I'm going to go ahead and apply some mascara here. I'm going to use my monthly favorite Maybelline Total Temptations mascara because it's just so awesome. Alrighty, I'm going to go ahead and set my face using this wonderful Pixie Seal the Day Long Lasting Set Spray. Setting Spray. Man, I can't talk today. I love this setting spray because it keeps me really matte all day since I am such an oily person. It's awful. And yeah, that's going to do it for this video, guys. I really hope you enjoyed this because it's yet another tutorial video on my channel. Um, I really enjoy doing these videos. I hope you guys enjoy them too. And yeah, don't forget to give this video a big thumbs up if you enjoyed it and subscribe to my channel down below because, you know, that's what you gotta do. You wanna do that because you don't wanna miss out on any of this fun stuff, right guys? Like, I don't. I'm filming it. I don't wanna miss out. So, thanks for watching guys and don't forget that you are absolutely stunning. Bye. <laughs>